Welcome once again, mathematicians. In today's video, we'll be looking at finding the median of a group of numbers. So you have on your screen at the moment, a couple of sets of numbers. The first one goes from one, double, three, six, seven, eight, nine, and we've worked out the median is six. And the second set is one, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, and we worked out the median was 4.5. We will be looking at how we do this. Important to remember as a shortcut, median refers to the middle number once our numbers are sequenced from lowest to highest. So let's have a look. A reminder that this is part of a series of videos looking at basic statistics, and I'd recommend you have a look at the previous video that I've put together for finding the mean. Very similar scenarios, but in this scenario we're looking at the mean, whereas today's video is looking at the median of a set of data. This is James. It's his 16th birthday, and he's having a party with family and friends. James is an inquisitive mathematician, and he wants to know what is the median age at his party. So, first of all, Step number one to find the median is to order the values, in this case ages, in order from smallest to largest. So James has got his youngest party attendee at 14, first of all, going all the way through to his grandparents at 70. Step number two, locate the middle value using the following equation. So the middle value is n plus one over two. Now, don't get confused, n just represents the number of ages that we have here. So we start at the first person with an age of 14, and we go right up to the eldest at the age of 17. So the equation we follow is 17 plus one over two. That gives me 18 over two, which gives me an answer of the ninth value. So our middle value is the ninth value, often referred to as the ninth score. So here's our ninth value, and this is a person with an age of 18. You can see to the left of this median value, we have eight scores to the left, and then to the right, we have eight scores to the right. This is indeed the middle value. So the answer to our question is the median or the middle age at this party is 18 years. Let's look at a couple more examples. This is Roger. He plays club cricket at a local T20 competition. And here's his scores for his 12 match season. Again, we want to calculate Roger's median score for the season. Let's follow our steps. Step one, order the values, that is the scores in order from smallest to largest. So I've rewritten those out from smallest to largest. Step two, find the middle value using the equation. Again, we'll use this equation. To find the middle value, it's the n plus one over two th score or value. First score is a five, second score is a nine, and we are all the way up to our 12th score. The highest score is 63. So there are 12 different scores. So here, to find the middle value, it's gonna be 12 plus one will be 13 over two. 13 over two gives us a value of 6.5. So it's our 6.5th value, which will be our median. This is interesting, we've got here an even number of scores. So we're not gonna find an actual number that's right in the middle. It's going to be between the sixth and the seventh score when we order them from the lowest to the highest. If we take that as our middle point, that provides six scores below our median and a further six scores above our median. And to find the actual median of the 6.5th score, it's the average of the sixth and the seventh score. So 35 for the sixth and 35 for the seventh. So when we average that, that comes out to 35. We've now discovered Roger's median score for the season was 35 runs. Example number two, the Opals, which is our national basketball team, won the 2018 Commonwealth Games gold medal. And here's the heights of all the players. On this particular occasion, we wanna work out the Opals median height. Step one is to order the values, that is the heights, in order from smallest to largest. So there we have the heights of all the opals from the shortest to the tallest. Step two, locate the middle value using the equation. Again, the middle value or our median value is the n plus one over tooth value. So in this case, we're using 12 as the n, which gives us an equation of 12 plus one over two, which can be simplified to 13 over two or the 6.5th value. So looking visually, we have our sixth and our seventh value. The 6.5th value would be right in the middle. So it's the median value between this height of 1.85 centimeters and 1.86 centimeters. When we only ever discover a median between numbers when we have even numbers. So a value here of 12 would give me a median in between the sixth and the seventh. That represents six scores below the median and six scores above the median. Number four, find the average of the sixth and the seventh value. So the average of 1.85 and 1.86, we add them together, divide by two, that gives us a value of 1.855 centimeters to three decimal places. Our final example is the movie example. 
A group of 42 year 10s were asked how many times they went to the movies last summer holidays. The summary of the information is shown in this table right. So we want to calculate the median number of movies watched over last summer holidays. First of all, again, order the values from smallest to largest. So this represents two students didn't go to the movies, they went zero times, three students went one time, five students went two times, and so forth. Locate the middle value. Our middle value again is our median value. So we've got from one person right through to 42. The middle value will be the 42 plus one over two, which will equal 43 over two, which gives us the 21 and a half value, which will be in between 21 and 22, just about here. So there's our median value located in between the 21st and 22nd value. At that location, we have 21 scores below and another 21 scores above. So that's a quick way to check that we have found our middle value. So in this case, the number of movies watched for the 21st viewing is 4, and the 22nd viewing is 4. So when we average the 4 plus 4 over 2, that gives me a value of 4. This tells us the median number of movies watched over the summer holidays was 4. Instead of writing out all these values down the bottom from 0 to 8, which took some time or would take time in a test, we can use our table here just as a a shortcut way of doing this. So let's have a look at this if we wanted to use our table to find the median value. So first of all, this is how it would look if it's a normal frequency table. There's an additional column to the right we can add. So first of all, we need to order the values from smallest to largest, which we have from zero to eight. The frequency table does that. Locate the middle value, and that uses the equation n plus one over two, where n's the number of scores or values that we have. So there's 42 values being recorded. 42 plus 1 would give me 43 over 2. 43 divided by 2 would give me again 21.5, as we did earlier. So it's a 21.5 value, which means it's between the 21st and the 22nd value. Looking at this table, there's a quick way of calculating this. We can add another column called the cumulative frequency, and this is the total number of year 10s being surveyed. Let's have a look at this. I'm going to add information down the bottom, but in terms of a test, you wouldn't bother with this down the bottom. You do it all on the table in one hit. So first of all, there were two students that didn't go to the movies at all. That's two students being considered. Another three went one time. So two plus three gives me five students in total went zero or one time. Then we have another five students that went twice. So that adds up to a cumulative frequency of 10 students now, up to 10 students that went two times or less. Another eight went three times, so up to 18 students who went three or less times to the movies. Another 10 went four times, so up to 28 students that went four or less. Seven went five times, so 35 students went five times or less to the movies in the summer. Another four students went six times, so now up to 39 students accumulating as we go. Another two went seven times, that's up to 41 students, and one student went eight times. So in total, we have 42 students that went to the movies, and there they are in order. And we're asked again to work out what is the middle value between the 21st and the 22nd student. So we have this data down the bottom, but let's focus on our cumulative frequency table. We realized that up to the 18th student, they'd only gone three or less times. Okay, so this is student one numbered up to student 18 in order. 18 students went less than four times to the movies. Then we have here another one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 students who went five or more times. In the middle here, we have a remainder of students 19 to 28 who went four times. So when we're looking at the median value between 21 and 22, all these students from number 19 in order to number 28 went four times. 21 and 22 both would have went four times to the movies. So when we're working out the median value, it's just four plus four over two. Student 19 through to 28 all went four times. So the median again will be four. So the median number of movies watched over this summer by our 42 students was four movies. Thank you for watching this video. I hope it's presented some simple examples of how to calculate the median value from a sample of numbers. If you've learned something and enjoyed this video, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching.